Throughout the game of baseball, there have been many elite relievers that have come and gone as the years have gone by. However, many relievers struggle one year, excel the next, and the cycle continues, or they're just plain awful at the major league level. For all the relievers that have pitched at the major league level, how many became extremely dominant during their entire career? Not just one breakout season here and there, their whole career. Even better, how many relievers today are extremely dominant left-handed relievers? Sure, there's Josh Hader for the Brewers, Aaron Loop for the Angels, and of course, Aroldis Chapman for the Yankees. But what about someone that is rarely talked about anymore in today's game? Today, we'll be going over one of the most underrated pitching careers of the last Last decade, left-handed pitcher Tony Watson. After being drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates in the ninth round of the 2007 MLB draft out of University of Nebraska Lincoln, Tony Watson dominated in the minor leagues. Drafted as a starter, he pitched most of his minor league career as a starter and didn't transition to a reliever until his age 25 season in Double A Altoona. After putting up solid numbers in Triple A after being called up from Double A, Watson was given the call to make his MLB debut in 2011. Watson had a four-pitch mix in his repertoire: fastball, slider, sinker, and changeup and his four-seam fastball velocity averaged around 93 to 94 miles an hour on average. He wasn't known as a strikeout machine. He was more so a ground ball pitcher who limited hard contact, but with his solid breakout pitches and above average fastball, he was able to strike batters out at a solid level. Tony Watson did not hold back during his time in Pittsburgh, quickly becoming one of the most dominant setup men in all of baseball, and he was one of the Pirates' most reliable relievers during their playoff run from 2013 to 2015, becoming an all-star in 2015. After Mark Melanson was traded to the Washington Nationals, Tony Watson became the closer for a brief time. In 2017, Watson was traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers to help them advance in the playoffs that season in exchange for prospects O'Neill Cruz and Angel Herman. After finishing his 2017 season with the Los Angeles Dodgers, Watson signed a three-year contract with the San Francisco Giants in 2018, and he was pretty serviceable, putting up a quality stat line, striking out a decent amount of batters, but unfortunately, he didn't live up to his all-star seasons with the Pirates. After signing a minor league deal with the Phillies in 2019 and opting out of his contract, Watson signed with the Los Angeles Angels on a one-year deal and eventually landed back with the Giants in 2021 to close out his career, setting an MLB record for most career holds at 246. After his age 36 season, Tony Watson announced on April 18th that he would step away from baseball and officially retire from the sport. Tony Watson was one of the most electric and humble Pirates players during his time with the team. Even though he's been a very quiet guy throughout his career, his stat line speaks for itself. He was extremely dominant as a setup man for all the teams he played with. As a young Pirates fan during the mid-2010s, Watson was one of the first players I was able to watch perform at a high level, and I grew attached to him for years to come. It is bittersweet to no longer see him in baseball, but I know that he had one hell of a career, and his legacy will continue to live on forever as one of the greatest, most consistent left-handed relievers of this decade, and a Pirates legend in my book. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider leaving a like on the video to let me know that you are enjoying this kind of content. Comment down below what kind of content you want me to make in the future. Be sure to look out for a prospect profile video coming out this Thursday on right-handed pitcher Miguel Yahure. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. With that being said, let's go Bucks.